because there are very specific right. things that people need to do to be happy. And the first thing they need to do is to take ownership of what they have done in their life. Take responsibility. You can't have happiness without responsibility. You get the short-term relief of bitching and blaming, but you don't get happiness unless you take ownership. So saying, I want her to be happy. Without specifically working with her so that she can take some responsibility in her life. Stop complaining. Stop blaming. And start apologizing for dumping I hate your dad on the little shoulders of a 10-year-old boy. That is abominable selfishness. So if you want her to be happy, there are specific things. Like if somebody wants to win the race, they want to run a running race, but they're a chain smoker, first thing you say is what? Stop smoking. Right. But if you say, no, 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 I'm really encouraging my friend who's a chain smoker to enter into the marathon and I really want him to win, but you never bring up that he should quit smoking. Do you really want him to win? Yeah, no. No. Right. Your mother will not be happy. Newsflash, Tim. Your mother will not achieve happiness. Because without self-ownership, without responsibility, you don't have an identity. You never achieve anything. You just blame. And you're like this light, acidic drizzle on the meringue happiness of everyone else around you. <laughs> right? The spine drencher. The sand castle tsunami. Check. Right? The minister of doom and gloom from the kingdom of woe is me. Mm -hmm. It is such an ugly, nasty, and vicious thing to do to burden a 10-year-old boy with open contempt and hatred of his father to take ownership of that and to have and i'm sure she didn't just start bitching at you when you were 10 i'm sure it happened earlier so let's just say 20 odd years of bitching at a child complaining to a child drenching a child in your negativity and victimhood she got to take ownership of that if she wants to even have a chance of happiness. She's not going to. She's not going to. I assume, Tim, tell me if I'm wrong, I assume that she doesn't even know that this is a problem. No, probably not, no. Right. Wouldn't it then be my job? I know you're probably going to say, oh my God, but wouldn't it then be best if she did know it was a problem well you've you've told her to take some ownership for her choices right i've, I've told her yeah I, I want her to be happy and get out of the relationship if you don't if you don't if you don't like them but you've told her to take some ownership of her choices right i'm sure i have and it's done nothing that to me is mere blame there's a helplessness and a petulance and a self-excusing. It's all him. It's all him. It's all him. Well, who married him? Well, he was different. Well, who made him? Or who contributed to him having an affair? Well, now you're blaming me. He chose to have the affair. Yes, but you chose to be with him. Yes, but I didn't know he was going to have... Like, you, you can go round and round with this forever, right? Everybody has an excuse. That old saying, excuses are like assholes. Everyone's got one. Everyone has an excuse. And they drain the fuel of their life thereby. You can blame other people all you want. You can give yourself the self-pity party. You can say, it was all done unto you. And listen, sometimes it was. You were traumatized as a kid. You didn't choose it. You didn't choose your parents. You were genuinely a victim. And I have absolutely bottomless sympathy for that perspective. But if you're a grown-ass woman and you marry a guy who cheats on you, you have some causality in the matter. Now, everybody wants to abstract themselves, to distance themselves from the bad thing that happened and just blame the other person. Oh, I'm an innocent angel and this demon man over there. But then what happens is you become addicted to blame. You become addicted to excusing yourself. You understand your mother cannot 
leave your father and she will never likely leave your father because she's addicted to blame and to excusing herself and when you're addicted to blame you need someone to blame and if you leave the marriage you have no one to blame you now oh I'm free of the oppressor Jesus how many people want to be free of their oppressor <laughs> most people love their oppressor I don't know if it's Stockholm syndrome or just massive self-excusing or whatever most people your mom I hate that man sure and most cigarette smokers hate smoking and most people who are drug addicts hate the drug doesn't mean they're gonna quit because they need it